Hey guys, J Squared here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing the Shengshou Magnetic Magic Clock. And I'm gonna be answering the question of, does it really need magnets to be better? Short answer, no. But let's get right into the review and see why that is. So this is the Shengshou Magnetic Magic Clock. Um, out of the box, ooh, it's a little rough, but I like that you can get into it pretty easily with these screws, so that's cool. Uh, ooh, that's satisfying. I'm pretty sure someone can make a whole video on that. Some type of ASMR thing. But it does turn a little rough. So we should open it up and look at the insides. But before we do that, I'm going to be showing you some notable features. Uh, it's got this little groove here for your finger, which right there and right there on every single corner. So it just feels a little nicer compared to the, uh, the Lingao. I don't know, I'll put the name somewhere there, um, where it's just flat and, you know, it doesn't feel as nice. The other thing is, too, that these pins are obviously magnetic, and I'll show you how that works right now in a little bit, but they click into place very well. It's super nice, super satisfying. And then, of course, you have easy access into the internals of this clock which was a lot is a lot easier than getting into this thing uh this thing out of the box um super rough disgustingly rough but after opening it which it probably it's probably not meant to be open considering that i broke it just to get into it but it's just it turns a lot better now it, feels a lot nicer but yeah let's get right into the mechanics of this thing so real quickly it did have four screws uh, you just unscrew those and then you get to this and then it has another two pairs of screws which you can't see because of the lighting but right here and then you'll get to the actual internals of this thing so now that I have unscrewed the ends all it is all there is to do is to lift this up carefully and and now we can see the inside of this clock and that's all there really is to it but I'll show you how the magnets work so this is the clock without all the clock internals and the magnets just click into place like that there's these like plates on the inside on each side and that's how they click into place with the magnets and then of course on the inside it sits like this it's either on one side or the top side and then you spin your dial and it only spins that side or the bottom ones with this mechanic um, you're still gonna catch you know in case the pieces aren't lined up straight you'll still catch before it clicks into place um, so you know that's where I feel like the magnets aren't really necessary because it doesn't doesn't involve anything here. They could probably make a better uh, little layout or something to where maybe there's less space and maybe it'll be a little more straight, you know, but I don't know. Thinking too much into it. Now, I did see a video on how to lubricate clocks. Um, what you do is you take a silicone-based lubricant, 
and you put it on a paper towel and then you just rub off the inside you know any contact point but nothing on the actual like dial part or the clock part here because if not it's gonna make it real greasy real messy and you don't want that so you just want lubricant on the contact pieces because it sits that's not a spot for it but it sits like that so you put lubricant on that area and yeah so I'm gonna do all that and then I'm gonna put it all back together and I'll tell you why magnets are not necessary for the clock and go as far as to say that it's kind of gimmicky so now that I put it all back together and lubricating it a little bit actually turns it a little better um, it's not still the best um, and even not as clicky or almost as smooth as this one um, so let's answer the question as to why this doesn't need magnets to be good um, I actually got this clock first and it was rough out of the box disgusting I opened it up broke into it which I mean I probably shouldn't have but what I did is uh, the spring it would stick out instead of curl or coil all the way so it would stick out and catch on the plastic on the inside of the two uh, time like the little pointer caps um, so it would catch I snipped that off put a little bit of lubricant on it and that's it I literally just super glued the rest down I didn't even put lubricant on the where it touches and I mean it, it's amazing and these I mean sure they don't click into place like this one does and then even then it just moves around a little bit you know but if you can get past that it, you don't need magnets it's it's almost a gimmick it's like it's like if you were to get a cube that like a, like a usual little magic and you put magnets in it or like how i did on my magnetic the the gan 330 magnetic which i'll put in the card here you know it, it's just it's more like oh let's put magnets in it you know so the clock doesn't really need magnets in order for it to be good i do like that it's a lot easier to get into this one than it is to get into this one because uh yeah but you know overall it is a good clock um especially if you've never had a clock before um it's really fun to solve on it's pretty smooth and then of course it's easy to just get into lubricated if you need to and just have some fun from there so but yeah anyway thank you guys for watching j squared out peace